Hello, thank you for watching some informations right from the start. Due to me having had to do a lot of things and having been busy the last week, sadly I could not finish work on the video for my review of Black Clover chapter 319. And with chapter 320 already released this week, one might think my prediction of last week for this current week's chapter might have become obsolete, but I promise you all my prediction, I still see them coming true. Of course, not for this week, but for the following week, chapter 321. So take my predictions as predictions for chapter 321 and you will see that I pretty much hit the nail when it comes to one of my predictions. So thank you for tuning in and let's start. Hello and thank you for tuning in for my review of the latest chapter of Black Clover, chapter 319 and my prediction for next week's chapter, chapter 320. So let's go. So first for my overall impression, it's a chapter that I really enjoyed. It's a good chapter with a good pace and good action. But that's pretty much it. I think it was a simple chapter that showed us the captains each having their try at Lucifero, giving it their all and getting smacked down easily by Lucifero. This chapter was essentially showing us the power gap between the captains, almost a full assemble, versus Lucifero at only 50%, we can assume. And it was clear that. Lucifero seems out of reach power-wise. Even though we don't have lots of dialogue, we only have snippets of uh, comments about how strong Lucifero is. And Lucifero himself doesn't give away that much, but this chapter one more time reconfirms that Lucifero seems to be quite an arrogant and self-confident person. He clearly states that it's revolting, that it's upsetting for him to see humans refusing to give up. He seems to be annoyed that the humans haven't gotten on their knees and having given in in despair. The chapter ends with a really nice page of Asta getting behind Lucifero and being in the middle of an attack to strike Lucifero with his blade. And that's pretty much it. So the chapter ended story-wise the way it started. The story didn't progress much, but sometimes chapters like these are necessary. Also to give us some power scaling. The chapter, the way it ended, was the last page, was the last picture of Asta's attack. This is the way it could have started as well or even last chapter could have ended this way. So we're still at square one against Lucifero and I was a little bit disappointed to get no information and no context on the other characters. I would have liked to see just maybe a one or two pictures showing us the situation with the others. Where is, you know, what's the situation with the Black Bulls? with Yami and William. Instead of talking about my three favorite moments of this chapter, as usual, there are not really three outstanding moments in this chapter, even through it was a very enjoyable chapter, I liked it, but it neither gave us any big revelation, a twist, or that one page that is outstanding showing us Asta in a magnificent pose. I'm just thinking about that nice scene two chapters or three ago where he sliced that giant Lucifero blob, that amalgamation of different demons, neatly into half saving William and Yami. Right to my prediction for next week's chapter, I don't think that next chapter will repeat what we saw this week's chapter 
that we will just see each of the captains having another try at Lucifero. We've already seen how big the gap is and how wide their levels are apart. For us, this attack that we see on the last page of this week's chapter, I don't think it to be really effective. It might connect, it might give Lucifero some injury, highlighting one more, for, one more time for us as the readers his arrogance and his status as himself thinking to be the supreme devil, to be the most supreme ruler of the demon world and to be way above all and everyone. But more important than that, I hope and I expect to see more involvement of the other characters that did not play a role in this week's chapter. Most importantly, you know. Because if we think about how can they proceed, how can they step forward, I only see two or three possibilities for the characters to actually land a successful, uh, meaningful strike against Lucifero. Option one would be that all the captains that were shown this week's chapter combine their magic in a more meaningful way than just going one at a time at Lucifero and giving Asta maybe a chance this way to land a meaningful strike that could actually do something to Lucifero. But it's not like we haven't seen them coordinating, uh, coordinating their abilities in, a, in some way, to some degree. What I rather see happening is Option two, others joining into the fight against Lucifero. Most importantly, you know, with his two magic grimoires, allowing him now to be able to conjure wind magic and star magic and seemingly to com and seemingly being able to combine his wind spirit dive form with his newfound star magic to boost it to higher levels. So that might be something that is capable of injuring and maybe even defeating the 50% Lucifero in combination with Asta and others. We also haven't seen much of Yami and William and the way we see that they are cracked and almost about to break apart like a pot or a glass that was dropped on the floor. I have the gut feeling that William and Yami might rejoin the fight against the devils but might do so in a last final attempt to fight for humanity to ward off the demons. Crazy long-term prediction. I predict that we might actually see someone die. Maybe not the following chapter, maybe not chapter 320 already, but I predict that the ones to die will most likely be Yami and William, which might have advantages, advantages for the purpose of storytelling, but also advantages for the purpose of allowing other characters to progress, aside from giving drama to let the reader know the stakes are high, to keep the story being interesting. Not that I want to see Yami die, our favorite Black Clover Isekai character. But we have the current captains and they reserve a slot. And as long as we have the current generation of captains, we will most likely not see 
other characters progressing into the rank of captains. So, Yuno is already a, a vice captain. Yuno, already a vice captain, will most likely not proceed to become captain as long as there is someone who is holding that place, namely William. And as for Asta, well, him mirroring Yuno in terms of progression, skill-wise, but also rank-wise rank and in terms of merits, Asta's next step would be vice-captain of the Black Bulls. So, vice-captain, that place is currently reserved for Nacht. Nacht being a newly introduced char character that we haven't seen everything from yet, him being in the possession of four devils, being linked with four devils, and having shown a devil union with two of his devils simul simultaneously, lets me to the conclusion that we will see him going into a union, into a fusion, with three and finally all of his devils. And seeing how two devils was already a huge jump in power over just going into union with one devil, even through they are all mid-rank, leads me to the conclusion, or I should rather say prediction, that a fusion with all four of them should bring him close to a level of the highest of the high, highest ranking devils, namely Lucifer and Co. But since we haven't seen that yet from Nacht, we can't write him off yet, so I seen him not dying any soon. Not having, not before having displayed his power, and he seems to kind of follow into the footsteps of Yami as well, even through reluctantly. So, for Asta to step up and take the place of vice captain, that place would need to be free, but. For Nacht to step up and take the place, the spot of captain, that place would need to be free. So my prediction, long term, beyond the next week's chapter, I see Yami dying, Nacht stepping up into the position of captain, and then Asta filling the slot of Nacht and becoming vice-captain. And my final prediction, which is more of a wifty theory, that we might see some of the devils, some of the Clyphoth devils, not agreeing and not being in line with the agenda of Lucifer, and maybe siding with the humans. I'm thinking of the second level Clyphoth devils that we've seen in the last chapter. He was giving us some comments, but not showing a lot of aggression towards the humans. In the current week's chapter, we didn't see him, and he was taking a back seat. I hope to see more of him in the next chapter. Of course, along with some other characters that we didn't get to see much, but it would be a huge surprise if other devils would actually want to stop the Clyphos from proceeding, for them to be free, free of the reign of the higher ranking devils, namely Lucifer at the top. That yet unnamed level 2 Clyphos devil that we've seen last week I see a possibility of him maybe betraying 
Lucifero and siding with the humans and being the deciding factor to take down Lucifero in a fashion of humans let's strike let's strike a deal a devil's deal I'll help you take down the 50% Lucifero because let's remember Usually, Lucifero should not have emerged yet. The Lucifero we see currently is a 50% Lucifero that has emerged through some yet unexplained trickery due to Morris experiments, whom we haven't seen yet, whom we haven't seen since the emergence of the blob amalgamation of demons that was sliced by Asta. So hopefully we'll get an update on him as well. And only because Lucifero emerged in that incomplete state way ahead of when he should actually emerge. Him being the lowest level, highest ranking, devil of the Clyphos, he should be the one to emerge last, instead of emerging together with the second level Clyphos at this current story time already. So this might be the chance for a level 2 Clyphos Devil to usurp Lucifero, seize the opportunity that normally would not be there stopping the progression of the Clyphos and being free of Lucifero. What leads me to that theory? Well, we already see some devils being friendly with humans, namely Libe, who is together with Asta and the other four mid-level devils that are in a contract with Nacht. That along with the level 2 Clyphos devil not seeming very hostile leads me to that theory that devils 2 might be a more complex species and might have more complex characters than the way than the way they are portrayed right now. It would be just so interesting, I think, to see them be more than that heartless, pure evil manifestation of just evil and badness. Two dimensionalities like these do not, this, do, not do the story any good. But this is more a theory of what is possible to happen, not likely to happen. We'll see a next chapter. One more time, I expect one of three things to happen for next chapter, chapter 320. First, I expect the captains to bind together their magic and to go for a combination spell together with Asta to take on Lucifero. Two, to see more involvement of the other characters that we haven't seen much from in the current week's chapter, most importantly, you know, and maybe William and Yami as well. And possibility number three that I predict, more of a theory, we might see the level two Clyphos devil siding with the humans and being the deciding factor to win the fight versus Lucifero. So, that was my prediction last week for this week's chapter, chapter 320. One of my predictions that I have been a tiny bit wrong or off was that I was not expecting to see all of the captains to go one more time for a hit, but the way it was packaged in this chapter was more to one more time solidify Lucifero's supremacy and through the defeat of them give the reader a sense of crisis that it's clear the stakes are high but 
what I got right was actually that you know even sir only at the end did enter the fight and I think we are pretty much guaranteed to see you know in action versus the devil so for chapter 321 we'll see how effective how efficient you know's double magic will fare against Lucifero and whether or not Asta will rise back up to fight alongside you know I do not expect Yuno to finish and to be able to finish this on his own. I do not see the current assemble of characters, the captains being defeated, able to defeat Lucifero with the level of strength that he displayed in chapter 320. Which again solidifies, in my opinion, the demand for some unexpected support from an unexpected character. One more time, I'm talking about the layer 2 Clyphos devil siding with the humans. And again for this chapter, the level 2 Clyphos devil displayed awkwardly little interest into joining Lucifero and did not show any malice at all. He did not attack and did not even talk lowly or in any derogatory way about humans. Actually quite contrary, stating they were able to fight thanks to that nobleman's magic. They did better than expected. However, they're only human. It's over. Maybe I'm a bit over interpreting in the sake for the sake of my own theory here. And also we have to take into consideration that these are fan translations, but the way what he's saying is worded in combination with his facial expression almost gives me the impression that he's a bit disappointed about humans not being able to fight Lucifer. Pharaoh. So maybe seeing, you know, and maybe in addition to other characters, with the help of possibly Asta, he might get moved to switching sides and supporting the humans. I think the chapter had many great moments. I actually liked it a lot more than even the last chapter, as the last chapter felt to me like we the readers were left with a situation that was no different at the end of the chapter compared to the beginning of the chapter, comparing to this week's chapter, 320, we got a definitive end and we got, we got a definitive conclusion for the fight captains versus Lucifero, with sadly the captains all going down, but setting the stage now for you know. Three moments that stood out for me. Number one, Lucifero, after having have cut one of his horns off, his rage and the way he's phrasing himself one more time solidifies that he seems to see himself far superior to everyone else, far above everyone else. Which right now seems not like sheer arrogance, but is actually backed up by the strength he is showing. The second scene that stood out for me specifically was a tiny minor detail that might almost get lost if I hadn't looked closely and that is Nozelle Silvers, the captain of the Silver Eagles, attack with his steel magic having seemingly failed at first, him just getting swiped away by Lucifero's immense strength, but we can see in the next panel, on the next page, that Lucifero is clad in silver. Even through not highlighted a lot, Lucifero's facial expression and the context of him receiving a combined attack, a combined fire attack of the two Vermilions without being able to dodge. That even in defeat, Nozelle 
still used his magic to assist the others in trying to take down Lucifero, but to no avail, as the next page reveals. A tiny detail that I still enjoyed. And the last scene that stood out for me was the last page, of course, with Yuno switching out Asta through his star magic, showing again the versatility of his magic, which seems to offer offensive, defensive, and similar to spatial magic, evasive properties through being able to shoot beam-like attacks being able to act as a shield and lastly being able to switch positions with him and as we've seen now in this chapter with other characters giving him properties that are akin to some of the strongest magics in Black Clover. Thank you for being with me, thank you for listening to me and I hope you enjoyed my video. This week's review of chapter 319, a bit short, but my prediction for next week's chapter 320, a bit longer. Thank you for watching, see you again, give a like and subscribe, have a nice day and bye!